we're gonna hoop our piece with the sticky side up and that's the paper side is the sticky side, right? Compared to the other side. So when you'll look at it, you'll see one side as paper. So as my friend did here, she put a piece in the hoop and we have quick release here. So I can put it in, place the inner hoop inside the outer hoop. And I always wanna look and make sure that I can read the numbers. So this clip is where the hoop slides in and attaches to the embroidery arm, right? I know that that's always on my left. I wanna be able to read the numbers on the hoop because that tells me that that inner hoop is in the right direction. If I am dependent on those lines to center something and I have that inner hoop upside down, my lines are gonna be an inch or so off. And I'm gonna say, I lined up the lines, but the inner hoop was upside down. So they didn't line up right. Does that make sense? Okay, so now my friend had clipped in her stabilizer. My goodness, that's tight. I'm old, I can't do stuff like well, I'm that. Older. <laughs> All right, so I have my clip in and she took a pin and she scored the paper. And now I can just tear away that protective layer. And in this way, I don't get my, my hoop all gummy, but I have full stabilization inside the hooped area. And I'm making a mess. That's what I do. Okay. So now I have all my paper removed and I can see through the lines. If you guys want to come see, I can see through the stabilizer and most of these stabilizers, you're going to be able to see through even the cutaway. Okay. Uh, I can see my line. I'm lining them up my lines with my little marks that center. And I know the exact center of my design goes right there. Well, for this design, it actually stitches out sideways instead of direct up and down. Does that make sense, right? Because it's too long. It's too wide rather than tall, mm -hmm. right? So I always position my hoop so that I can think about the direction that my piece is going to stitch out, right? So this is the bottom of my design. This is the top of my design. Even though I know that that's where it attaches to the hoop, I want to go with the direction that the design is on my screen. I want to position this just so it helps me to, um, to figure out where to put my design. So with this, the design is moved all the way to the right. The reason for that being it helps me to know that with it all the way to the right, there's about a half inch margin that doesn't get sewn on. It's helping me to place my design. I know that the bottom of my design is gonna be about a half inch from here, mm -hmm. all right? If this had a line on it of some sort, a decoration, uh, a, a stripe, something like that, I would probably, after I fold it in half so that I know where the center line is here, I'm going to, if it had a, des a design on it, I would line up the design, the stripe or whatever, with the edge of my hoop. So that I know a half inch from there is where my design is going to start. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to move this so that my fold line lines up with my little hash marks here. Now my design's gonna start and I think that's a good distance from the mm -hmm. bottom, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna open it. And because it's nice and sticky, it's gonna stay. Done, I'm hooped. Wasn't that hard? No. So now all I would do is check my position with my machine just to make sure that I like where it is. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna show you how to do that next. Stop.